हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस गाइडलाइंस और प्रैक्टिसेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर द नेक्स्ट बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस यूज पैरलर कर्सर इन नेस्टेड लूप्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस प्रैक्टिस आफ्टर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रैक्टिस whenever you are fetching data from foreign key or dependent tables you are checking for sai sub r c or not initial condition after this if i will say this performance practice has the highest weightage whenever you are going for nested loops always always we should go for parallel cursor what is parallel cursor parallel cursor improve the performance in case of nested loops whenever we develop this classical report program suppose if i am removing this logic when we develop this classical report program from two tables at that time we use nested loops and at that time i told you nested loops affect the performance a lot but sometimes we cannot avoid nested loops so whenever you are going for nested loop always always make a practice that you should apply parallel cursor no one will accept the code if we are not applying parallel cursor and we are going for nested loops firstly we'll go for recap so suppose i have two internal table what is first internal table lt data what is second internal table lt data one we put a loop on first internal table we put a loop on second internal table why why we compulsory went for the loop why because for a order number we have multiple matching records for a order number we have multiple matching record for a order number we have multiple matching record if we will go for read table then what will happen read table will only read the first matching record it means this order number will match with this order number one these two records will be skipped this order number two will match with this two this two will be skipped this 3 will match with this 3 these two records will be skipped so ultimately there is a loss of data in the output so in this case compulsory we need to go for nested loops we cannot go for read table in this case compulsory nested loops are required but the performance will affects a lot how the performance will affect so for the one record of the outer loop inner loop is continuing eight times because in this inner internal table we have eight records for second record of outer loop inner loop will continue eight times for the third record of outer loop inner loop will continue eight times many times people think for this one we have only three matching record then why we are saying eight no this is not the case yes sir it will go for each and every record yes the condition is true for first three in case of one condition is true for these two condition is true for this matching records of three only three matching record but it is not the case that it will not consider all the record it will check all the records but yes the condition is true so depends upon that it will only display those those records but it is never the case that loop is not considering all the records it has eight records so it means for one record of outer loop inner loop will continue eight times eight times for second record eight times third record eight time have you seen 8 plus 8 plus 8 how many iterations of inner loop 24 iteration but ultimately we require how many records in the output for first how many matching three 
फोर टू हाउ मेनी मैचिंग टू तो थ्री प्लस टू फाइव फोर थ्री हाउ मेनी मैचिंग थ्री सो इट मीन्स आइडली इनर लूप शुड ओनली गो फॉर हाउ मेनी टाइम एट टाइम्स but currently it is going 24 times just think about a real project suppose i have 100 records in the outer internal table and the inner internal table has suppose 20 crore records it means what we are doing we are going for 100 into 20 crore times iteration so in this case is what will happen Sometimes system will simply go into a runtime error because the loop is going, 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 going. It is never, never gives the output at all. So, what is the solution for the same? Whenever you are going for nested loops, always, always apply parallel cursor. Whenever we will go for parallel cursor, suppose in our current example for order number one. Inner loop will only continue three times. For order number two, inner loop will only continue two times. For order number three, inner loop will only continue three times. This is the way how parallel cursor will work. And we have a dedicated syntax itself for the parallel cursor. Always, always you will write the logic for the parallel cursor in the same to same way. now we will see how to apply parallel cursor logic firstly we will write the logic then we will understand in the debugging more now this is our nested loops now before going for the loop on second internal table firstly we will apply a read on the second internal table we will not blindly go for loop firstly we will go for read table on the second internal table so we will write the syntax of read table we all know read table what is internal table lt data 1 now i will write the work area lwa data 1 i will go for with key you all know in case of read table the syntax is with key order number is equal to first work area order number in the previous video we studied whenever you are going for read table always always make a practice to go for binary search yes our searching time will also reduce at that point of time now you are going for binary search on second internal table it means we need to sort also yes compulsory whenever you are going for binary search never forgot to sort the internal table so we sorted the second internal table by what is the where condition what is the key you passed order number so we sort based upon order now after this read table we already covered never never forgot to check size sub rc condition if size sub rc equal to 0 we all know it is a system variable if this read will be successful size sub rc will be 0 if read will not be successful size sub rc will be other than 0 if size sub rc is 0 i am writing some variable suppose i am writing lv underscore index and i am going for one more system variable sci tabix you all know sci tabix always always return the current iteration of the loop whatever the current index record is going on we can always always check to side tab side tabix always always return the current index of the record now i am writing and if now we will declare lv_index it's a dedicated syntax 
and once i will explain the code in debugging guaranteed you will understand how it is working so i declared variable lv underscore index type i you all know i stands for integer yes and in case of integer there is no need to specify the length because integer is a complete data type yes it is a elementary data type but it's a complete data type so there's no need to specify the length now rather than going for where condition i will comment the where condition and now i will write from what is the variable for the index we took lv underscore index it's a dedicated syntax firstly i'm just writing the index writing the syntax then we will come on to full explanation now inside this loop i'm writing if first work area order number is not equal to second work area order number we will exit we are exiting from the loop else part we are going for append i will go for applying pretty printer i'll check the syntax and activate just think in this parallel cursor logic itself we learned how to sort we applied all those things in read table how to go for binary search we will see the importance of most important system variable side tabix because here it will play a vital role and maximum people has lots of confusions in understanding side tabix variable now we also studied for well, exit we all know exit is helping us to exit from the loop we already covered this topic previously whenever we covered the loop statements so in this parallel cursor itself we are using lots of things which is already covered sort statement binary search system variable side tabix exit statement so this is the full syntax of the or full code of the parallel cursor in the next video we will understand this code in the debugging mode and you will say yes now the time will be drastically reduced now what is the summary of the video in this video we started with one more best performance practice that whenever you are going for nested loops always always parallel cursor is compulsory yes we should avoid nested loops but in some scenarios we cannot avoid nested loops so in that case parallel cursor is the solution for the same so but we have written the logic for the parallel cursor and how we have written the logic rather than going for blindly loop on the internal table second internal table firstly we read that internal table we took the side tabix we took the current index whatever the current index is there then after that we are looping based upon the index we are not now looping based upon where condition we put a loop based upon that index if first work area and second work area order number is not matching we are exiting else part we are just collecting the records and in the next video we will see or we will understand this code in the deeper mode so that's it in this video thank you